नमस्कार मित्रों टुडे वी आर चेकिंग आउट एन इम्प्रेसिव सिंगल बोर्ड कंप्यूटर द डेबिक्स मॉडल सी इट्स कॉम्पैक्ट पावरफुल एंड परफेक्ट फॉर एज कंप्यूटिंग एंड एआई प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड यस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर आल्सो बिल्डिंग एन स्मॉल प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग दिस बोर्ड सो स्टे ट्यून इन साइड द बॉक्स वी गेट द डेबिक्स मॉडल सी बोर्ड इट कॉम्पैक्ट क्लीन एंड रेडी टू बिल्ड विद Talking about the specs, the heart of the Debix Model C is NXP's IMX93 processor, which has a dual-core Cortex A55 CPU running at up to 1.7 GHz. For AI applications, it features the Ethos U65 Micro NPU, offering efficient machine learning performance right at the edge without needing consistent internet connectivity. It comes with 1 GB LPDDR4 RAM, and there's a 2 GB option as well. For storage, you can use a micro SD card or go with a onboard eMMC, available up to 256 GB. And this board is ready for harsh environments too. It's industrial grade with operating temperature ranging from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius, and optional variants going down to minus 40 degrees Celsius. For security, it includes edge lock, secure enclave. It supports dual gigabit Ethernet ports. There's dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.2. 2 into USB 2.0 ports, a USB OTG, and even a 3.5 mm audio jack for headphone and mic. For display and camera interfacing, it includes LVDS, DSI, and MIPI CSI interfaces. It also features a 40-pin GPIO header, giving access to UART, I2C, SPI, PWM, ADC, and CAN. It supports Ubuntu Server, Debian 12, Yocto, and even free RTOS in dual-core operation. And finally, it's all powered by a simple 5-volt Type-C input and weighs just about 43 grams. It's compact, efficient, and packed with potential. Perfect for DIY makers, developers, and even commercial use. That was all about the specifications. Now let's move on and build something with it. We are going to create a simple yet functional weather desk clock using the Debix Model C. A big thanks to Debix for also providing the display for this project. We got a 5-inch TD050A LVDS panel with an 800x480 resolution and a few required cables, all straight out of the box. But before we begin assembling the components, let's first design a compact 3D printed case for both the display and Debix Model C in Fusion 360. Once the design is complete, it's time to bring these parts to life and for that, I'm going to use JLCPCB's 3D printing service. I can easily print these parts with my 3D printer, but for those who don't have a 3D printer and want to prototype a project, then JLCPCB is all-in-one solution for you. To order your 3D printed parts, visit jlc3dp.com, upload your CAD file, choose your settings and place the order. JLCPCB is a well-known manufacturer of printed circuit boards offering multi-layer PCBs, flex PCBs, PCB assembly services, and SMT stencils. Besides PCBs, they also provide 3D printing and CNC machining services. They offer 3D printing services with different technologies, materials, and surface finishes. Even they also provide metal 3D printing services. The package arrived within a week and as always the quality from JLCPCB did not disappoint. I have used their 3D printing service for many of my projects and the results are consistently excellent. If you are also looking for a reliable 3D printing solution, do check out JLC3DP, the link is in the description. Now that we have our 3D printed enclosure parts ready along with the Debix board and LVDS display, we will also need a heat sink for the CPU and a Wi-Fi antenna. So with everything in place, let's start the assembly process. Before continuing the assembly process, let me give a shout out to LTM for sponsoring today's video. LTM Designer is a powerful and user-friendly software trusted by engineers and makers worldwide to create high-quality PCBs quickly and accurately. And with LTM 365, your entire team stays connected. It seamlessly brings together everyone from mechanical designer to manufacturing specialists on a single cloud platform, streamlining your electronics design journey from concept to production. If you are ready to take your electronics design skills to the next level, there's a special trial offer just for YouTube viewers. Click the link in the description and get started today. Now let's get back to the assembly process.
All right, the assembly is now complete and it's time to set up the Debix Model C and install the operating system. First, plug the SD card into your PC, then head over to debix.io slash software and download the Ubuntu server image for the Debix Model C. Now launch Balina Itcher, click on flash from file, select the downloaded image, choose the SD card as your target and hit flash. Once the process is complete, safely eject and remove the SD card. Then insert the SD card into the Debix Model C, plug in the Ethernet cable and the USB-C power. As soon as you power it on, it will begin installing and booting into the OS. To SSH into the Debix, we need its IP address. You can get it using one of the methods. If you are using the terminal directly on the display, run this command. And without a display, just log into your Wi-Fi router and find the IP address assigned to the Debix. Now on your PC, open Windows PowerShell and type SSH Debix at the rate your IP address. When prompted, use the password Debix. Now for our project, we will need an active internet connection. Since Ethernet is not always convenient, let's connect the board to Wi-Fi using NetPlan. Use the following command to edit the NetPlan config. Press I to enter insert mode, then paste the following template. Be sure to enter your Wi-Fi SSID and password. Now press ESC to exit insert mode, then type colon WQ to save and quit. Then apply the configuration with the following command. Wait a few seconds, then check the Wi-Fi connection with IP A show MLAN 0. If everything went well, you should see the IP address assigned to your Wi-Fi connection. Great, we are now connected over Wi-Fi. It's time to build our weather desk cloak. We will begin by testing output in the terminal first, then move on the display. So let's create a new Python script. Inside the script, we will use the OpenWeather API to fetch weather data. Just visit openweathermap.org, sign in with your account, click on username, go to my API keys and copy your key. If you don't have one yet, then create a new key. Now paste that key into the script along with your city name, for example, Delhi. Now save and exit the script then run it. We have now time and weather data showing up in the terminal. Next, let's push this data to the display. So let's create a new script. Write the display version of the code, add your API key and city, then save and run. It's working, but I was not fully satisfied with how it looked. So I went through multiple iterations, solved several bugs and finally arrived at the version I am happy with. Let's run the final version. Nice, the script is running and everything looks good, but there were still a few problems I was not happy with, like the blinking terminal cursor and the need to manually start the script every time the SBC boots up. So let's fix that. First, let's create a system and service to automatically start the Python script at boot using the following command. Paste the code, save and exit the script. Then reload the system and daemon with the following command. After that, enable the service with the following command. Now let's create the another service to hide the cursor. Paste the code, save and exit the script, then reload the system and daemon and then enable the service. Ok, both services are enabled, now let's reboot. And that's it, our weather desk clock project is complete. It shows accurate time, day, date, temperature and humidity and a 4 day weather forecast. This was my first project on Linux and I really enjoyed the experience. Yes, this could have been done by using a microcontroller like the ESP32, but the purpose here was to learn and explore. If you are into industrial projects or looking for a powerful SBC for edge computing, definitely check out the Debix Model C. Link is in the description. That is it for today guys, I'll see you in the next one.